We're here this afternoon at Green Meadow Growers to show you how to use International Horticulture Technologies grow tile. This can be used as a residential office and outdoor green wall. I'm here today with Kevin Norton, who is our designer and installer of green walls, and he's gonna show us how to plant these unique products for your home. For instructional purposes, today we're gonna to be using a piece of chalk and a safety blade. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a gradient pattern. So we're gonna start with our left side and we'll just take our chalk onto the fabric. We've got our first section and this will be one color. This will be our second color. Third. For this video, we're doing just a gradient pattern, four different colors. But you know, let's say you want to get adventurous, you can add more to it any way you want. Today we're using a red crashula here on our first portion. You want to take and place it onto your media and pinch it at the root ball top here. That's the marking spot. You're going to take it, make your cut, I'm going to reach in, I'm going to pull a small amount of material out matching the root ball. And you'll take your material, lift it up, grabbing the edge, the inside edge here of the root ball, placing it on the edge of the material, and sliding it in. You can see we're starting to get our design. The next one's gonna come under here. Again, place your plant material so it's up against the base of the other. You wanna get all your roots inside nice and snug, like an envelope. So we're gonna move on to our next plant material. When you have a material like this, you see it's a much longer stalk. One of the ideas is that you loosened up your root ball, but you wanna be able to slide it in and kind of give it a, a push using the edge of this material. So instead of doing it like you saw with the other material that's shorter, you want to get it in farther and then direct it. You want it snug up against your other material. You don't want to put too much of a gap. You really want to layer it, forcing the other material up. Now you can see we have this open area here. We're going to bring it back up again to help cover that area. Now you can see as we're getting closer here, instead of going straight on the line, I'm cutting it at an angle so that I can force it in at this direction. On our next row, we're going to use a combination plant mixture. This one's the Crashula Campfire, and this one they call Kiwi. And um, you can notice they're very close in color, but different texture and color. I'll lay it to your edge. So as these grow throughout the year, these will become a very, very fluorescent green, yellows, and reds. These will turn more yellow and um, some orange. So they will have quite a bit of contrast. Right now they look similar. And one of the key elements in International Horticulture's grow tile is, of course, their proprietary media. And I want to show you what makes it so different. So what International Horticulture specializes in is the grow media. And this is a very specialized media. As you can see, it's made from mainly all natural products. And they use it in 
planting from flowers to vegetables and food crops. And we also now incorporated this into green roofs and living walls. I want you to take a good look if you can get in here and you see this is like a sponge. It's a sponge media. You can imagine this media is here underneath. And when you put your plants into there, you can see the roots will eventually, it's gonna grow into this media. And one of the things as a specialist, I've spent many, many days and hours and weeks of my life uh, learning what works out there and what doesn't work. And, you know, I've tried to break this stuff and I can't. <laughs> So what I'm saying is, is it's hard to overwater because of the water to air ratio. In other words, you could fill this up. It's very hydrophilic. It's going to absorb water. It's going to hold water, but it's going to hold air too. And so the roots can grow in there, get what they need. It's got nutrients in it, and then it will release that. So if it's too much water, it leaks out and it's a very lightweight media. And since it's covered in this material, it should last 20 years. Okay, we're gonna move on to our next plant. This is a uh, Crashula jitters. We're gonna use this to layer it in there. To see the nice contrast between color, texture. You can see how much more material we have here. So the idea is to push it farther up. And you wanna cut here. Nice wide cut at an angle. This plant is a succulent plant. It's called Portulacaria afra, or also known as elephant plant. This one is a, um, a prostrata, meaning it's, it's at least, it's a low grower. So it's not gonna get as large as some of the other ones. Okay, as we get closer to uh, finishing off our piece, what we wanna do is you wanna take about two fingers, like such, and that's gonna be the space between where the bottom, when this slides into its box, this will be the bottom piece here. So we're going in here. Because we have very little room here, I'm gonna use a cutting I did off of here. And that would go like this, shoving it in at that angle. And then we're gonna play with the red. Since we've got red stem, nice color, we also have the red crassula from up above, from the top. We're gonna to finish it off here as well. Okay, so now you can see what we did with the gradient design. Hope you can see that. We've got some red on the top. We're using a type of jade or crassula. This nice green spiky texture, succulent plant. We've got a combination of the campfire, the kiwi through here, giving us nice yellows and reds and oranges. Got another jade plant, it's called jitters. Nice green, wavy. And then we've broken it up with some spiky portulacaria. And this one is called the variegata. And then now we're finishing it up again with the red crassula, playing off of the red stems here in the mix as it goes in. And last but not least, we've got a big aeonium, kind of help our, hide our bottom area. Kevin's just completed a design that gives us instant color and living art for your wall. I'm gonna finish it off by putting it into an iHort grow tile frame. You just take the media and slide it right in. There you see it in the frame. The watering trough slides right on top. It's ready to hang and water and enjoy. This is the iHort grow tile planted with succulents, ready to go and hang on the wall. You can see that this gives you the ability to have living art in your home or on your patio. Thanks, Kevin, for all the work you did here. The great artistry on our plants and in our grow tile for showing everybody how to plant these. And for all of you, for more information on our products and on our grow tile, please go to ihort.com.